hello and welcome back to our channel i hope you are doing so so well i am back yet again with another festive sparkly glittery pink eye look and of course the whole look as you can see right here and this is what we are doing of course and i just wanted to give you some kind of diwali party inspo and i hope you really really like the look that it i absolutely love how it has turned out the shade you know the gradient between mauvey browns and pinks is just to die for and especially with this hot pink sari i mean that looks absolutely gorgeous uh uh i love it so i just decided to pair this up with a sleek bun and some long polki earrings and of course some gold kadas or bangles or whatever honestly your heart desire so this is what i have uh come up with so i think without further ado let's jump right into the video but before we do that please make sure you subscribe it would really mean a lot and i would see you guys on the other side of the video so we are doing the eyes first as always i am prepping my eyelids for the eye shadow using my p louis base and next i am ready for the eye shadow and i'm using the hura beauty naughty nude palette and taking the shade naughty on my mac 217s i am packing it right into the crease and deepening up the outer corner as well and then i am dipping into the shade raw from the new nude palette again by hura beauty and buffing out the edges and packing it right above the first shade next i am using the shade filthy from the naughty nude palette and concentrating this towards the inner corner of the eyes i am taking the shimmer in the shade shameless from the naughty nude palette again and packing it right in the center of the eyelid next i have taken the shade crave from the new nude palette and packing it towards the inner part of the eye and then buffing any harsh edges left using my mac 217 It's time for the lashes and I'm using the House of Lashes in the style iconic and boom we have the lashes on it is just so beautiful I am next going to line my waterline using the shade Free Burgundy from the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil range and then i am buffing the lower lash line using the first shade from the naughty nude palette again and here we have the abh x nicole guerrero glow kit and i'm using the shade glow getter as my inner corner highlight as well as my brow bone highlight and there you have it the eye look is complete super festive super shimmery and just perfect for the upcoming festive season all right you guys so now that we are done with the eyes we are going to start with the face and we're going to keep it pretty pretty minimal today so the first step is always going to be the primer and the primer that i'm using today is the ula hendrickson banana bright face primer this one is just all about that glow which we absolutely need during all our festive occasions I'm just applying this towards the high points of the face look at that glow already now wherever i have some open pores i am going to be using the ysl touche eclat blur primer this is 
so gorgeous. Just focusing this one on the areas where I actually want that blurring effect. I'm just going to take some under my eyes as well. What this is going to do is it is going to help fill in those spine lines and that would in turn help with lesser creasing of our concealer. I can already see like a lot of difference in the appearance of our pores. And now I'm going to let my primer sink in for about three to four minutes. And until that is happening, I am going to color correct my under eyes. I'm as usual using my LA Girl Pro Conceal. Now I am going to use my Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade 3W and what I'm basically going to do with this one is kind of correct my under eye dark circles and cover up this corrector. I'm sure if you have been here for a while you know I do not usually do this i always apply my concealer after i'm done with the foundation but i'm making a little bit of a switch up today i'm kind of bored with the usual techniques so i thought of switching up those techniques and seeing how these different techniques really work so i think we're gonna find that out in a little while so here I have my concealer brush and I'm just going to buff all of this in. Now it is time for the foundation and I'm using the Dior Forever Skin Glow. This is also in the shade 3W. I'm not taking a lot of it. I'm dotting it all over and now it is time to highlight those under eyes and I'm using another Dior concealer this one is a Dior backstage and this is something really nice and a very, very innovative brush tip. And I'm going to apply it here, some in the center, and some here. This would ensure a great lift to my eyes. I'm going to start with the chin first. So now just going over it all with a beauty, damp beauty sponge. And now that I'm happy with how blended my foundation looks. I am going to set it with Ben Nye Pretty Pink Translucent Powder. This is a smaller size that I have here and I am just going to take some here on a tissue paper and because it's that kind of a bottle. So I'm again going to use my puff make sure the puff is very well coated can you see that i am going to press this powder into the skin
Now to bronze up my face, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Sole Bronzer on an angular brush. For my blush, I am using Jacqueline Cosmetics Rouge Romance, the Rouge Affair Blush Palette, and I'm going to dip into this shade right here. I think I'm going to mix the first two shades using the ABH Glow Kit in the shade Kitty Cat right here. And this is pretty much it for the face. I am going to use a setting mist. So quickly using my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. Time for the lips now and I'm using this Kylie Cosmetics Coco Collection in the shade Gloss. And it's matte lipstick with a pink undertone to it and therefore I thought this would be like the perfect match. Now to outline my lips, I'm going to use my MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Spice. The lipstick feels very, very dry. And I usually always like Kylie's lipsticks, but this one, for some reason, feels extremely dry. So I think we definitely need a gloss and this is also from the same collection in the shade Damn Gina with some frostiness. So I have put my jewellery on, this is what the bangle looks like. And I have my Polki earrings and I also have some mascara where it wasn't really supposed to be. So I'm just going to tell you how to remove it like it was never there. So this one has been sitting for a while and it is completely dry and now is when you would take a clean dry spoolie and That is gone and now I'm just going to take my concealer brush and whatever is kind of left in the brush goes here. So this is what the complete look has turned out to be and I totally love how classy this looks with the sleek bun especially um, absolutely here for this and I think you would have some kind of a Diwali party in spa now I would totally wear this uh, a hot pink sari and beautiful pink eye look I hope you guys actually loved it and if you would like to see some specific kind of a look please drop it down in the comment section below that would really give me more and more ideas and will be so much easier for me to do those looks for you and i think we should say goodbye for now but before i say goodbye to you please make sure that you subscribe to the channel it would mean the absolute world to me and i would be even more motivated to create more content and if you haven't been following me on instagram i mean what are you even doing follow me on instagram right away the handle is right here on your screen so make sure you're following me on instagram as well and please 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 do like share and comment on this video i absolutely look forward to reading your comments and i really want to know the what more do you want to see from me 
I would be so happy to do it for you and I think goodbye for now and I wish you so much of happiness and so much of love. I hope you enjoy the festive season with your loved ones and you seriously get all that you've ever desired.